what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today, guys, we're back here to new video. I'm going to see my video. My good. name is Devin, and welcome to the best video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the 17 major sins in Islam. 17 major sins in Islam. Wow, mm -hmm. this video is pretty long. It's 20 minutes. I wasn't expecting that. The worst sins. So, you know how those guys talk less about it? Oh, yeah, small. Let's get into the video. The major sins are acts which have been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger وسلم. Allah says in the Quran, If you avoid the major sins which you are forbidden, we will remove from you your lesser sins and admit you to a noble entrance into paradise. So, it is very important for us to learn what these major sins are and avoid them insha'Allah. Number 1. Associating partners with Allah, Shirk. Indeed, Allah does not forgive association with Him but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. Number two, committing murder. And those who do not evoke with Allah another deity or kill the soul which Allah has forbidden to be killed, except by right, and do not commit unlawful sexual intercourse. And whoever should do that will meet a penalty. Number three, practicing black magic. And the people learn what harms them and does not benefit them. But the children of Israel certainly knew that whoever purchased the magic would not have in the hereafter any share. And wretch is that for which they sold themselves if they only knew. Number four, not performing the prayers. But there came after them successors who neglected prayer and pursued desires. So they are going to meet evil. Mm. Number five, withholding the zakah. Charity. And let not those who greedily withhold what Allah has given them of His bounty ever think that it is better for them. Hmm. Rather, it is worse for them. Their necks will be encircled by what they withheld on the day of resurrection. Number six, not oh. fasting on a day of Ramadan without excuse. Islam is built upon five pillars, testifying that there is no true God except Allah, and that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, performing the prayers paying the zakah, making the pilgrimage to the house of Allah, and fasting the month of Ramadan. Number seven, not performing hajj while being able to do so as mentioned in the previous point. Number eight, disobeying in disrespect to parents. Oh. And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except him and to parents good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them so much as of. And do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. Yeah. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy and say, My Lord, have mercy upon them as they brought me up when I was small. Number wow. nine, cutting off the ties of relationships. So would you, perhaps, if you turned away, cause corruption on earth and sever your ties of relationship? Those who do so are the ones that Allah has cursed. So he deafened them and blinded their vision. Number 10. Committing adultery or fornication and do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. Number 11. Committing sodomy. Allah will not look at a person with pleasure who commits sodomy with a man or a woman. Awesome. Number 12. Taking or paying yeah. interest. Those who consume interest cannot oh, stand on the day of resurrection, except as one who stands who is being beaten by Satan into insanity. That is because they say, trade is just like interest, but Allah has permitted trade and has forbidden interest. So whoever has received an admonition from his Lord and desists may have what is past, and his affair rests with Allah, 
but whoever returns to dealing in interest or usury, those are the companions of the fire. They will abide eternally therein. Number 13. Devouring the wealth of orphans. Indeed, those who devour the property of orphans unjustly are only consuming into their bellies fire. Huh. Number 14. Lying about Allah and His Messenger وسلم, And on the day of resurrection, you will see those who lied about Allah with their faces blackened. In hell, a residence for the arrogant. Number 15. Running away from the battlefield. And whoever turns his back to them on such a day, unless swerving as a strategy for war or joining another company, has certainly returned with anger upon him from Allah. And his refuge is hell, and his wretched is the destination. Number 16. The unjust leader. The cause is only against the one who wronged the people and tyrannized upon the earth without it right. Those will have a painful punishment. Hmm. Like Number the words, 17. The words, the saying itself is, is very, very massive, guys. I'm very, very honest on that. That part when it said, you shouldn't do for interest, you shouldn't stick the wealth of an orphan, just hits me deep. Also, when he was like, um, there's a starting point to face it on fornication, then he was, he was also emphasizing on um, not praying. Also, it's in the Ramadan without a reasonable explanation. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe you have um, also, yeah, you medical issues. Daddy. Yeah. So, these are very, very key points. You, that things you shouldn't. Take lightly. There are things people take like is normal, but it's not normal. This also applies to Christians. Aside Muslim, aside Muslim side, also Christians too. These are not to be shared in church. Because this is very, very meaningful. People take it lightly, whereas it's very important. Very, very, very important. What do you think? I feel um we should just learn how to show more love and be honest. Because if you look at it now, this next one is about pride and arrogance. And he said we should not withhold um, the money for, I don't know how you put offense. it, like, no, not the offense, like charity. charity we should not yeah. withhold it because God has given unto to you. You should learn to give out. Oh. And I feel like that is something I need to work on better. Because I do, I need to work better on it. And then, which other, there's one part he said, so me. I don't know what that means. Because he said it after the adultery and fornication. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that means. And just from the beginning, just started with, um, um, there should not be any other God except for Allah. Yeah. That's the first one. The second one was about um, the prayer also. And he just kept on um, explaining. And see, whenever I call one, he talk about the um, verse in Quran. So I just love yeah. the fact that he's is saying he, it and he's backing it up from um, the Quran. Quran. So it's, it's kind of more better that way. And when you talk about, you know, this, um, this respect your parents also. Yeah, very, very important. Like, there's a lot of things here. Very, very important. That's There's true. a lot of things here. I just want to see more. I just want to understand all of it. I will know where to um, ask God for forgiveness and how to go back. And you said something about um, um, cutting ties from relationship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I never knew that was the same at all. I, honestly, I never knew that was the same. People, people take things because we're in the 21st century. They take things like yeah. casual, which... It's not supposed to be so. People don't read the Quran again. People don't read the Bible again. They, they live life according to what please them. And which is not supposed to be. Well, we all have principle in this world. Mm -hmm. We have principle we have to abide with. And that's for me. We are all neglecting. So let's keep watching and see what more yeah. we have. Pride and arrogance. Assuredly, Allah knows that they conceal and what they declare. Indeed, He does not like the arrogant. Number 18, ungratefulness. So remember me, I will remember you, and be grateful to me, and do not deny me. Number 19, intoxicants, alcohol and drugs. O you who have believed, indeed, intoxicants, gambling, sacrificing on stone, altars to other than Allah, and divining arrows are but defilement from the work of Satan. So avoid that, you may be successful. Number 20, 
gambling. The previous verse mentioned also applies to this sin. Number 21. Slandering innocent women. Indeed, those who falsely oh. accuse chastity, yes. unaware and believing women are cursed in this world and the hereafter, and they will have a great punishment. Number 22. Stealing from exploits of war and from the money of the zakat. It is not attributable to any prophet that he would act unfaithfully in regard to war booty, and whoever betrays, taking unlawfully, will come with what he took on the day of resurrection. Then will every soul be fully compensated for what it earned, and they will not be wronged. Number 23. Consuming forbidden wealth or taking it by any means. And do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it in bribery to the rulers in order that they might aid you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin, while you know it is unlawful. Number 24. Committing highway robbery. Number 25. Making false oath. And they are those who do not testify to falsehood, and when they pass near ill speech, they pass by with dignity. Number 26. Committing oppression, except those poets who believe and do righteous deeds and remember Allah often and defend the Muslims after they were wronged and those who have wronged are going to know what kind of return they will be returned. Levying illegal taxes. Prophet Sallallahu said, Do you know who the bankrupt is? The bankrupt from my nation is the one who appears on the day of resurrection having performed the prayers, fasted and paid the zakah, but had also abused that person slandered that person, wrongfully taken the wealth of that person and spilled the blood of that person. These people will take from his good deeds. If his good deeds are thereby exhausted, he will be given their sins and then he will be thrown into the hellfire. Number 28. Stealing. As for the thief, the male and the female, amputate their hands and recompense for what they committed as a deterrent punishment from Allah. And Allah is exalted in might and wise. But whoever repents after his wrongdoing and reforms, indeed, Allah will turn to him in forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. <laughs> Number 29. Suicide. And do not kill yourselves or one another. Indeed, Allah is to you ever merciful. And whoever does that in aggression and injustice, then we will drive him into a fire. And that for Allah is easy. <laughs> Number 30. The perpetual liar and invoke the curse of Allah upon the liars. Number 31. Whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are the disbelievers. Allah does not accept the prayer of a judge who judges against the laws of Allah. Number 32. Engaging in bribery and do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it in bribery to the rulers in order that they might aid you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin, while you know it is unlawful. Number 33. Women appearing like men and vice versa. Allah's curse is upon women who appear like men and upon men who appear like women. Number 34. Being a pimp, day youth, is the one who approves the indecency of his womanfolk and who is void of jealousy or the pimp who facilitates indecency between two people. Number 35. Marrying for the purpose of making a woman allowable for another. And if he has divorced her for the third time, then she is not lawful to him afterward until after she marries a husband other than him. And if the latter husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon the woman and her former husband for returning to each other if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. Number 36. Not keeping clean from the remains of urine, and your clothing purify, and uncleanliness avoid. Prophet Sallallahu passed by a grave and said, These two are being punished, and they are not being punished for something hard, but it is a great sin. One of them did not keep himself clean from his urine, and the other went around spreading tales. Number 37. Showing off. So woe to those who pray, but who are heedless of their prayer, those who make show of their deeds. Number 38. Acquiring knowledge only for worldly gain or concealing knowledge. Indeed, no. those who conceal what we sent down of clear proofs and guidance after we made it clear for the people in the scripture, 
those are cursed by Allah and cursed by those who curse. He who is asked about knowledge he knows and does not reveal it will be sued with fire on the day of judgment. Number 39, breaching trusts. O oh, you have believed, do not betray Allah and the messenger or betray your trusts while you know the consequence. Number 40, reminding people of one's kindness. O oh, you who have believed, do not invalidate your charities with reminders or injury as does one who spends his wealth only to be seen by the people and does not believe in Allah on the last day. His example is like that of a large smooth stone upon which is dust and is hit by a downpour that leaves it bare. They are unable to keep anything of what they have earned. Number 41. Rebelling and calling people disbelievers. But do not transgress limits, for Allah does not love the transgressors. He who calls his brother a kafir, disbeliever, one of them will bear it. 42. Spying and eavesdropping on others' private conversation. O oh, you who have believed, avoid much negative assumption. Indeed, some assumption is sin, and do not spy or back by each other. Would one of you like to eat the flesh of his brother when dead? You would detest it, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is accepting of repentance and merciful. Number 43. Spreading harmful tales. Namima. And do not obey every worthless, habitual swear and scorner going about with malicious gossip, a preventer of good, transgressing and sinful. Tailbearing, namima, is defined as spreading words among believers with the purpose of stirring up enmity and problems between them. This matter is forbidden. Number 44. Cursing others. Abusing a Muslim is evil and fighting him is disbelief. When a man curses a thing, this curse goes up towards paradise. The doors of paradise are shut against it. The curse then moves right and left. It finds no way for it. Then it goes back down to the cursed one if he deserves it or else to the curser. 45. Not fulfilling one's promises. Whoever possess any of these characteristics has the characteristics of hypocrisy until he gives it up. Whenever he makes a promise, he breaks it up. Number 46. Believing in soothsayers and star signs. Whoever goes to fortune teller and asks him about something will not have his prayer accepted for 40 nights. He who asks a fortune teller or an astrologer something and believes him of what he says is a blasphemer. Number 47. A wife being rebellious to her husband. If a man invites his wife to bed and she refuses and he becomes angry on her, the angels curse her till morning. 48. Making statues and pictures. The people who will receive the greatest punishment on the day of judgment are those who compete with Allah in creation, those who make pictures or statues. It's about believing one can give life or compete. 49. Striking oneself, wailing, tearing one's clothing, pulling one's hair, and similar deeds are a form of mourning. Number 50. <coughs> committing injustice. The cause is only against the ones who wrong the people and tyrannize upon the earth without right. Those will have a painful punishment. Number 51. Being overbearing or taking advantage of the weak, slaves, wives, or animals. Number 52. Harming neighbors. A person whose neighbor is not safe from his mischief will not enter paradise. Number 53. Harming and abusing believers and those who harm believing men and believing women for something other than what they have earned has certainly borne upon themselves a slander and manifest sin. Trailing one's garment in pride. Example, below the ankles out of pride. What is below the ankles will be in the hellfire. This is if it's to do out of pride. Number 55, harming the friends of Allah. Whoever shows enmity to a slave of mine, Allah's, I shall be at war with him. Number 56. Men wearing silk and gold. Prophet Sallallahu said, Gold and silk have been permitted for the females of my nation and forbidden for its males. Men who wears silk in this world will have no portion of the heavens in the hereafter. He who wears silk on earth will never wear it in the hereafter. However, it is true that the Prophet, peace be upon him, permitted silk 
only for those suffering itching within four fingers measure, and he permitted using a tooth of gold also. Number 57. A slave is running away from his master without reason. If the slave escapes his master, his prayer will not be accepted. You who believe fulfill all obligations. Number 58. Sacrificing animals for other than Allah and do not eat of that upon which the name of Allah has not been mentioned. For indeed, it is grave disobedience. The one who sacrifices for other than Allah is cursed by Allah. Number 59. Claiming that somebody is one's father while the claimant knows it is not true. One who claims that someone is his father and knows that it is not true will be forbidden of paradise. Number 60. Arguing or quarreling for show and not seeking the truth. Whoever argues in support of something that is wrong and he knows it, Allah will be angry with him until he stops. Hmm. Number 61. Not allowing excess water to flow to others. Say, have you considered if your water was to become sunken into the earth, then who could bring you flowing water? Whoever doesn't allow the access of water or pasture for others will not share in the blessings of Allah on the day of judgment. Number 62. Dealing in fraud. Woe to those who give less than due, who, when they take a measure from people, take in full. But if they give by measure or by weight to them, they cause loss. Number 63. Disbelieving fate. Then did they feel secure from the plan of Allah? A man asked, What is faith? Believing. The Prophet ﷺ said, Believe in Allah, His angels, His books, his prophets and the day of judgment, resurrection after death, and fate, good or bad. Number 64. Eating carrion, blood or pork meat. Say, I do not find within that which was revealed to me anything forbidden to one who would eat it unless it be a dead animal or blood spilled out or the flesh of swine, for indeed it is impure, or it to be that slaughtered in disobedience, dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit, then indeed your Lord is forgiving and merciful. Number 65. Despairing from Allah's help or forgiveness. Say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. Number 66. Continually not performing the Friday prayers and congregational prayers without any valid excuse. Prophet hmm. ﷺ said, If people don't stop abandoning the Friday prayers, Allah may seal their hearts and they will become heedless. Whoever hears the call to prayer and doesn't come to prayer, there is no prayer for him save for the one who has a valid excuse. Hmm. Number 67. Preaching error or establishing errors. He who preaches for error will bear his sin and all of those who follow him. The Prophet also said, He who preaches for error will bear his sin and of those who follow him, with no decreasing for their sins. The Prophet also said, Every new established thing is an error in religion. Number 68. Being deceiving and plotting evil due to arrogance in the land and plotting of evil. But the evil plot does not encompass except its own people. Then do they await except the way of the former peoples? But you will never find in the way of Allah any change. And you will never find in the way of Allah any alteration. Number 69. Pointing a weapon at a Muslim brother. He who points a weapon at a Muslim brother will be cursed by the angels even if he was his brother in kinship. Number 70. Abusing or revealing any one of the companions of the Prophet Do not revile my companions for by the one in whose hands is my soul. If you were to spend in charity a mountain of gold similar to Mount Uhud, it would not be equal to a handful or half a handful or what they have done. These are the 70 major sins in Islam. Please share this video with your friends and family who may not be aware of these sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and keep us firm on the path that is pleasing to Him. Man. This was amazing. Um, 
eye opening. Right, very, very eye opening. Especially when there was one that said, do not spy on your neighbor or yeah, drop them. I do that. And I know. So I'm going to stop. So there are a lot of things they was warning us against that we should not do. Yeah, since. Um, though I'm a Christian, but the, what we're saying here relates to our Bible too. So the those I'm going to comply to. Basically, almost everything here, I'm going to comply to them now. And I was, I'm really glad I checked this out. I'm really glad I took time to watch this. It was very long, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, wow. But it's, it's worth the time. Uh, now I know a lot of things about Muslims, what they, what are sense to them, and I know how I'm going to be mindful of my steps. So there are some things I should not be doing that I have done before. So I'm going to stop it. Definitely. As of today, I'm going to stop them. So what do you think? Um, when you talked about the um, not like um, watch people's conversation, like yeah. I was like, wow, well, that's a sin too. Honestly, I was not expecting that to be part of the sins. We talked about a lot of things. We was like, yeah, no. and don't make all these statues and stuff. That too is bad. Don't know about it. We spoke about a lot of things. Um, I just feel we as humans, we should just try um, to. Obey the commandment that God has set for us. He say, um, we should not be deceiving and plotting evils. So this, like, even if you are an atheist, deceiving other people or plotting evil, you as a human being, you already know we shouldn't do things like yeah. that. I'm pretty sure that at least twenty to thirty out of everything he said, um, yeah, it applies to human beings in general because when you talk yeah. about the stealing the killing, killing the yeah. um betraying betraying people. yeah we talked about a lot of things that anybody even if you were to do itself like things that are illegal that even the drugs too because drugs are illegal stuff like that um it applies to literally everyone you know when you start talking about the times you pray, the fasting, that's when it comes down to religion. Yeah. But others, plotting evil, even going through someone's phone, like it's not on a normal day, we all know we shouldn't do it. Maybe sometimes we go through someone's phone because of curiosity, or we try to eavesdrop on someone's conversation because of curiosity. And two, we should just we should just be nice. We should we should try to live with love. Let love lead. Let's okay. be good to one another. Because we don't know what tomorrow holds. We should just try and be good. The stealing, the killing, even suicide. I feel when we feel suicidal, we should try to meet our lovers, try to talk to somebody. I know it's never an easy thing to go through. Being depressed is never easy. And everyone has the reason they choose to commit suicide because not all of them are depressed. But if you feel you're in that situation, Try to talk to people because community suicide, it's, it's more than just you dying because the lovers are there. Um, you, there's a sin waiting for you where you're going to. Mm. Because your lovers are the ones that are going to suffer more as soon as you are gone. Because you didn't die, you actually killed yourself. It's never easy. I just pray that God will help each and every one that feels suicidal. There's a lot of things there. I can't just keep going and on and on. I, I just happy I got to see this, just, you saw a lot of, like, since you just feel like, oh, this is normal, even the lies, like, you're just giving one or two jokes like that, but still, I just pray God should guide us in the right path, and if we have done any of these that are here, we just ask for forgiveness and move through in the right path, we should try being in God's presence and doing whatever he has set down for us. Thank you. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this with us. Maybe you can subscribe to the channel. Guys, so now I'll do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all